Hello everyone and how are you today? Well, it's another vacuum cleaner unboxing from yours truly on my channel iBasiac. Please subscribe if you want to see more of this. But before you subscribe, why don't you watch today's show? And today we've got a little handheld vacuum cleaner for you. Not a rechargeable model, but a mains powered. I believe this is 550 watts. This is by a company called Hoover. And this is a Hoover Jovis, odd name but that's its name. It's a Hoover Jervis corded, says it's the lightest corded handheld, suitable for pets, HEPA filter. What else can we say? It's got a motorized turbo brush bar, unlimited corded autonomy, 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 can't get my tongue around that, um, or autonomy, oh, oh, well it just basically means it keeps going, unlike a battery appliance that obviously will wear down after a certain amount of use. As long as this is plugged into a main socket and you've paid your electric bill, this bad boy will keep on going until, of course, it blows up. It's got a six meter cord and that's basically it, lightest corded handheld. The model number, if you want to search for this online, if you want to buy one, is SJ4000DB4001. And the colour inside the pack is silver slash ink blue transparent. So, that's it. That's everything on the box discussed. Let's open this machine up and see what's inside. Okily dokily then. The box is a little bit battered, but hopefully the item inside the box will be fine. Let's see what's first out of the box. Well, before we get the machine out, we have a crevice tool. Always a useful little attachment to have is the crevice tool. Enables you to get down the side of things, down the side of your chairs or your sofa. Helps you clean those nooks and crannies in your car. And just helps you get into those smaller spaces where you can't go with the main nozzle on the vacuum cleaner. So there we go, the crevice tool. Next to come out, I think will we'll be the vacuum actually. So here it is. Whoops. Nearly let the box go. <clears throat> Seems very heavy. What else is in the box? Ah, of course, the power head. Come on, don't fight with me. There we go. I think that's everything. Yes, it's all gone, all gone. Put the box to one side and we'll focus on everything we've got in the box. This is the, says on it, turbo power. No, not like the Hoover turbo power from the 80s and into the 90s. Hmm. This is actually a motorised power head that fits onto this machine. It's not an air powered turbo brush, it's actually motorised. If you look at the top there, there are two electrical contacts. They connect to the machine when it's uh, connected and of course electricity will travel down those pins in order to power the little motor that will be inside this it's quite a narrow, it's a little bit narrower than a standard handheld turbo brush you can get with some vacuums. So there we have, it's a bit hard to see because it's black on black, but you have some brushes that will rotate and they're not very stiff. A little bit disappointing with the stiffness there. I would have liked something a bit stiffer, but maybe these softer brushes will still do the job. Of course, I will be thoroughly testing this machine, especially on pet tears, which is what this machine is supposed to cope with. But anyway, there is a motorized turbo brush. Get the standard guarantee, just a year with Hoover, and of course the instruction manual. Not a lot in here, really. It's basically showing you how to attach the attachments and empty the machine. And the guarantee says, blah, blah, blah. Well, it doesn't say anything about the guarantee. <clears throat> well, I see it's just a year's guarantee. Here we have the vacuum itself. 
I've read mixed reviews for this, but on the whole they were fairly positive, the reviews I did look at. Some people complained it's heavy. Well, I suppose it's not all that light, even before I attach the powered nozzle, but I suppose it's still lighter than trying to use a, a full-sized vacuum on your stairs. So there we go, 550 watts power to hand it says on that. So I think that uh, it's not a sticker, that's actually printed on and printed on that side. Here's a six meter mains lead. And of course, whoops, sorry about that. Of course you've got the three pin plug. <clears throat> and no cord storage to speak of. You just get this little Velcro cord storage strap thing, which is actually attached so you won't lose it, it's actually attached to the cord. So when you unravel the cord to plug the machine in, you still have that bit of Velcro strapping. So it's finished in a silver and blue color. You've got the exhaust vent by the looks of it, either side at the back. That's underneath, that's the nozzle. This of course can be used without the turbo brush because you don't want to use that on all surfaces. For example, hard surfaces and delicate surfaces, you don't want the turbo brush. So that's a standard shaped nozzle you get with the machine. There's a thread picker at the back to help deal with more clinging litter. And those two holes, those correspond with the two pins on the motorized head when we're using it with that. It's also got I believe, is this another sort, what's this? Ah, oh, it's not, I thought that was a nozzle that comes off, it's not. It's got a little slider there, look. That pops out, I'm not really sure how useful that is. Does that move any further? I'm not really sure if that, you see where the brush is? Hmm, doesn't seem very useful. Let me just check the instructions to see if that is out how it should be. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, I think that's it. I really can't see much of a use for that, it doesn't really. If it's stuck down further, but it's, it comes out more or less flat. But I suppose you're holding the machine like this. I mean, yes, I can feel it is sort of on, the, on a hard surface. You can hear the brush, but you can hear a bit of scraping as well. So that's the retractable brush. And then the crevice nozzle will fit on. I can do it right there. Crevice nozzle fits on there. Now that's ideal of course for your nooks and crannies, but also when you're cleaning stairs with this machine, this motorised nozzle is okay for day-to-day -day cleaning of your stairs, but if you want to get right into the corners from time to time, you can put the crevice nozzle on and then you can go right in the corners of your stairs, because this won't quite reach right up to the edge. It's got a turbo setting, now some Reviewer said the turbo setting made no difference, but we'll see. So it's got off, on, and push it down again, and we have turbo. Now I'm assuming, before I even look at the instructions, there are two catches either side of the handle. I'm assuming if I squeeze those, we should, yes, we should have access now to the bin that came off easily. And of course, inside the bin, there is a filter, so you need to remove that when we're emptying. So. You have to put your hands in, and I expect it to be, be quite stiff initially. So out comes that filter, so any dirt and debris that we've picked up will be inside there, hopefully. Then we can just tip it out. There's also a pretty common feature. At the bottom there is a little flap. It's hard for me to show you, but there is a little flap that should close. So when you've used the machine to pick stuff up, while you're go before you're going to empty it, you don't want all the stuff falling out through the hole. So that's what that little rubber flap does. It's supposed to close over the opening to ensure the dirt stays in the bin until you empty it. Here's the filter. I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's washable. Let me just check that for you. It's showing taking the filter out. It says clean the filter after every use for optimum performance. Da -da -da. Clean all debris from the filter. Ah, can't see anything about washing the filter. That's it's not very good if you can't wash it, if you can't even run it under water. There's no picture on the instructions that show it 
going underwater. Um, you can buy spares, of course. Just says remove the debris from the filter, so no, it doesn't say you can wash it. Assuming that the mesh part comes away, so that mesh part comes away. I can't see any reason why you can't run that under cold water, that part. Don't use any detergent, don't run it under very hot water, but I'm sure you can just rinse that. I don't know why you can't clean that. It seems to be a standard sort of pleated filter that you get with many single cyclonic vacuums, but unless I say otherwise in the review, you can't actually wash that. But anyway, you need to keep it clean. You can keep it clean, of course, by taking it outside. You could brush that. Use another vacuum if you've got one. That's always the best thing to do. That's what I'll be doing. Or just tap the filter on a hard surface on the side of your bin, I suppose, until the debris falls off. But hopefully the mesh filter will stop any larger debris from sticking to the mesh. It actually does fit on... There is a little... Uh, well, there's three lugs on that and it corresponds with three openings, I suppose, on that. So you need to line them up. Actually, there is an arrow and it says lock. So there is a small arrow on the bottom of that filter, so you just need to line it up with the arrow on the other filter and turn it to lock. And that's that. Then it just fits in. It'll only go in one way. Make sure the filter's always in place before you use it. Here's the handheld part. Obviously behind there is the fan and the motor. And just says on the back, Jovis corded 230-240 volts, 50 slash 60 hertz, 550 watts, double insulated, made in PRC, Hoover Limited, Merthyr, dry only. Don't you go trying picking up any liquids with this. I believe Hoover do some handheld rechargeable vacuums that can be used for wet pickup as well. So let's just locate the dust cut back onto the machine. There we go, that's nicely clicked in position. And also, well actually before I put this on, I'm going to plug it in and we'll just see how the suction feels. Well as you can see I've cut up some hate mail here and I've just spread it around just to just to give a quick brief demo of the vacuum. I mean it, it shouldn't have any trouble picking up some paper on a hard surface. Even a cordless vacuum should have no trouble with that. The trouble it might have and a lot of vacuums can't cope with is dog hairs but in my video which is coming up soon I'll be testing this on pet hair and doing the stairs and all sorts of things with it. But before I pick up this, using my many years of experience I'm going to turn the machine on, firstly on the regular setting and then turbo. I'm just going to put my hand over the end and just to sort of judge the power. Nothing scientific, but it'll give me a rough idea. Ooh, that's, that's on normal, that's a good suck. Unfortunately, it's also a good blow too because it <laughs> blew a bit of my uh, paper around, but that was just on regular. What's it going to be like on turbo? Let's find out. Well, turbo doesn't seem to affect anything. Ah, now that's what I think it's for. I think turbo may just come into effect. I think basically the turbo setting, it might just be a case of when you've got it on the on position with this nozzle attached, the brushes aren't rotating, but when you switch on turbo, they are. I'll see if that's the case, because I do remember a viewer saying there was no difference. So I'm going to turn the machine on and we'll just see if we can see these brushes rotate when it's on the regular setting. No, they don't rotate, so obviously I have to switch the turbo, which will activate the power brush. So yes, that's what the turbo button does. It doesn't increase the suction or anything, it just switches your motorised brush on. So we can take that off because we don't need that for this quick demo. This is spread out quite a bit more than it was because of the quite vigorous blowback 
coming out of the exhaust vents. But anyway, let's pick all this up. took less time <laughs> it took less time than I expected it to because oh I've missed a couple of bits hang on it took less it took less time because <laughs> a lot of it was blown onto the floor so I'll have to be vacuuming that up with another vacuum cleaner so that is a little bit of a disadvantage when you're using this on a hard surface to pick up anything that's fairly light it's gonna blow it blow it around through these vents I mean it's very powerful Quite noisy, of course, but mm, it's a very good blower. It's a good sucker, but it's a good blower too. But anyway, that's it for this brief introduction and, and unboxing. I will be, of course, seeing how far it gets up the stairs. A six meter cord should easily get up a standard flight of stairs, providing you've got a socket near the bottom of your stairs. But I've got some different types of dog hair I've been saving up. Uh, golden Retriever hair as well as uh, long haired Dash Hound hair and I'll be spreading that on some upholstery and on the stairs and we'll be passing this turbo power nozzle through the mess seeing if it deals with the pet hairs I might even have a go at my dog's bed as well because that of course always gets covered in hairs and bits from the dogs and I'll just generally see how easy and effective this machine is to use but anyway, so far it seems okay. It's noisy as I expected it to be, but it has a very powerful suction, certainly far more powerful than any rechargeable vacuum I've looked at in the past. So there it is, the Hoover Jovis 550 watt corded handheld vacuum with turbo power nozzle and crevice nozzle. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for my full demo and review. Please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new floor care video, which is three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So until then, I'll see you soon.